wanted to give you an example of a drought stress yard um, oftentimes it's hard to um, you know ask somebody does your yard look drought stressed and very rarely would they even know what that means but what this is a good example the whitish grayish area usually it's not this widespread in a yard but if you have just a uh, one area or one circular spot or one abnormal it doesn't have to be circular but any kind of spot in your yard where you have some greenness and then you have this random silverish shiny whitish appearance uh, this is a really good place to show that uh, you know whether it's from the AC unit over there um, dripping water or the water hose or maybe they're watering the the shrubs um, but it is certainly coming out right here the water and then it's going to the low spot right here to the drainage and so you can tell water makes grass greener um, a lack of water will make your yard have this silverish appearance there's a random spot probably where they have some good topsoil actually there's an irrigation head um, so the irrigation head is probably leaking a little bit but it doesn't look like from the rest of the yard that there is any water um, and then right here in the middle of the yard where the two yards drain down together you can tell it's more green and then right over here around the water meter um, you can tell that it's a darker green and that's just because it has more water more water means the plant cells are getting what they need to uh, carry out their cellular functions including uh, allowing the chlorophyll to be abundant within the cell. Chlorophyll is what makes uh, plants green and a lack of chlorophyll, a lack of water is going to make your grass turn pale. So uh, remember that if you start seeing those spots in your yard, that's your clue that something needs to change on the watering.